Praetors are the mightiest warriors and battle leaders of the Space Marine Legions, second only to the godlike Primarchs in martial skill and generalship. These Lords of the Imperium hold the power of life and death over whole worlds with the direct command of entire war fleets and armies in their hands. Each is a vastly experienced warrior and Warlord, unique in character, who has writ a legend in blood for themselves, and carries into battle the finest war gear and weapons known to humanity. In their ranks can be found Chapter Masters and Lord Commanders, First Captains, Khans and Tribunes, as the traditions of their legions dictate. They are the Masters of War, and have commanded the hosts of the Great Crusade that have conquered worlds unnumbered. The Legion Champion Consul Chosen from the best blades of the Legion, a champion bears the honour of their chapter or company in battle. They are armed and armoured in the finest panoply of war. Their sworn task is to seek out the foe's mightiest warriors and slay them as an object lesson in the Imperium's superiority. For many years, the legions maintained cadres of battle psychers in their ranks. Warriors who fused these esoteric powers with a Space Marine's superhuman physical power. There were many within the Imperium's hierarchy who were troubled by such dangerous and unstable potential. And after dark events in the Great Crusade's later era, such adepts were forbidden from the use of their arts and arcane lore. With the outbreak of the Horus Heresy, however, the traitors threw off such shackles quickly, and soon the Loyalists were forced to revoke the ban in order to combat them. The Legion Master of Signals Consul a vital link between those desperately fighting and support elements of the Legion in battle. The Master of Signal is a strategic and communications specialist capable of interpreting and directing the flow of battle around them and calling in support strikes from distant batteries and orbiting vessels. The Legion Forge Lord Consul. Masters of the machine and foundry, Forge Lords are the most experienced and skillful of the Legion's tech marines. These warrior smiths are skilled battle leaders as much as they are artisans of war and are often appointed to the command of the Legion detachments comprising largely of tanks and armoured vehicles or battle automata, as well as serving as stewards to a Legion's dreadnoughts. The Legion Primus Medicae Consul High officers of the Legion Apothecarian, the Primus Medicae of a Legion hold the onerous duties of both ensuring the battle readiness and physical well-being of their battle brothers, an authority in which none but a Primarch or his chosen deputy can overrule them, and in preserving at all costs the gene seed of the Legion from loss or contamination, even that of their lives.
The Legion Siege Breaker Console. The wreckers of cities, the bringers down of fortress walls, and the shatterers of strongholds. Siege Breakers are officers of the Legion whose speciality is precisely applied destruction against strategic targets. Placed often in command of armoured spearhead assaults and frontline delivery artillery units, they prefer to closely observe their work rather than sit back behind the lines, and so are deadly efficient in adapting their forces attack patterns from moment to moment. The Legion Chaplain Console The Chaplain Order, established towards the end of the Great Crusade, was intended to create a cadre of fearsome veteran warriors who would enforce a cohesion of doctrine and belief in the scattered and increasingly idiosyncratic legions far from terror. Theirs was a mortuary symbol of sacrifice, craven in the form of an ornate staff, mace or axe, the Crozius Arcanum, which served as both a badge of office and a deadly weapon. The Legion Vigilator Consul. Highly skilled as watchers and hunters among their brethren, operating often on their own or in command of reconnaissance detachments, Vigilators are the eyes of their Legion on the ground, their wisdom paramount in scouting out the foe's disposition and strength and determining the best place to strike. Theirs also are the arts of sabotage and assassination, and while some legions are more inclined to such subtleties than others, all see their military value. The Legion Moritat Consul Said by some to be no less than death incarnate, and by others to be dishonourable murderers with no place in the Imperium's order of battle. Moritats are lone killers, operating outside the Legion's usual command structures at the behest, or at least sufferance, of its high commanders. Regarded usually as dangerously unstable outcasts, perhaps created by some seldom exposed flaw of gene seed or indoctrination. They are also savage and proficient warriors, however, having become one with the act of killing, honing their superhuman reflexes to gun down the foe at close quarters to a pre-natural degree. A Legion Consul Pravian is the keeper of the Legion's bound automata, those soulless machines sworn to the Legion's service and inducted into their ranks as honorary legionaries after decades of service. A practice that increased as the Horus Heresy inflicted an ever greater death toll on many Legion's ranks. Initiated into the rights of the Mechanicum to a lesser degree, these officers oversee the maintenance and programming of their charges and ensure that loyalty to the Legion and its traditions are enshrined in their core logic. On the field of battle, they march at the forefront of the inducted maniples, guiding them in the correct prosecution of war and acting as examples of true sons of the Legion. Often chosen from amongst the ranks of those veterans whose injuries have required extensive augmentic rebuild and left them ill-suited for other, more specialised roles, these warriors are often solitary individuals, given to brooding and keeping to the company of their Iron Brothers. It is rare in most legions for these warriors to advance higher up the chain of command, 
and some legions use the rank as a dumping ground for those deemed unfit for other duties, while others, most notably the Iron Hands and Salamanders, consider it an honour to serve with such unique avatars of the machine cult's craft. The Legion Delegatus Consul A Legion Delegatus is a mid-ranking Legion officer, such as a Centurion, tasked with a specific mission by a Legion's High Command and formally deputised to act in all matters with the full weight of their commander's authority. As such, they can mobilise the Legion's resources to the full, deploy its assets, and, if performing a mission of vital strategic worth, assemble a strike force of chosen warriors. The Legion Herald Consul As the wars of the Horus Heresy spread to consume the galaxy, billions fought and died under the banners of warlords they had never seen or heard first hand. And even among those such as the Legion's Astartes, near religious fervour became common for those artefacts touched by Primarch, Warmaster or Regent, and given to a chosen emissary as a sign of authority and favour. The Black Shields, having obscured their heraldry or cast aside former masters, were no different. Their strange sigils or blackened flags becoming totems of destruction and the Forsworn. The Damocles Command Rhino Equipped with sophisticated communication, cogniz analysis and tracking equipment, including a powerful orbital interference, secure Vox transceiver. The Damocles is designed principally as a command and control vehicle to serve as a direct and all but unbreakable link between a Space Marine Legion formation in the field and its brethren elsewhere within the war zone and in high orbit above during planetary operations. Using these systems, skilled tech marine crew are able to read the ebb and flow of battle, call in reinforcements and supporting fire, and ward off enemy forces through signal interference and interdiction targeting. Designed to the specifications of the ever-expanding Ultramarines Legion, the Damocles was easier both to manufacture and deploy than the venerable Proteus Explorator Land Raider variants, which commonly fulfilled this role during the Great Crusade's early years, and less resource intensive to forge and less marked upon the battlefield than the powerful Spartan Hermetica Siege Command Vehicles which were entering service during the latter days, before the horror of civil war encroached upon the Imperium. The Damocles was just as able in its task, but unfortunately far less durable than either of its counterparts being based on various patterns of the ubiquitous Rhino chassis. The Legion Command Squad It is common for Space Marine commanders and champions to be accompanied in battle by a squad of highly disciplined and worthy warriors. They serve both as a bodyguard for their commander and are entrusted to carry one of the Legion's great standards, making them a rallying point on the battlefield for the Legion's troops. These chosen Space Marines have access to the finest war gear available to the Legion's rank and file and embody the Legion's honour in war.